In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the topic of evaluation of determinant value. We already know how to evaluate determinants of the order 1, order 2 and order 3. In this video, we have a question which is basically a solved question or indirectly a proof question based on the same subtopic. Now you can see here the determinant that is given to us is a 3 by 3 ordered determinant. That means there are 3 rows and 3 columns. What is the criteria to evaluate this determinant value that we have already seen? We can evaluate it in 6 common ways. Either evaluate through the first row, second row or the third row that means 3 rows or evaluate through the first column second column, third column, that means three columns and three and three make it six. What is easier usually for most of us is evaluation among rows. Else otherwise nothing changes except minus one to the power i plus j that we have seen in our previous videos of evaluation of determinant. So let's commonly start with evaluation with the first row. So I write the heading as proof. The reason I'm writing proof because it is a proof question you have to prove the value equal to 4abc. So the determinant is given to us and we'll be getting started with the solution. Let's write expanding amongst the first row or expanding through the first row. You can go about any row or any column. So since it is first row, I write R1. R1 usually is a denotion for first row. Similarly, if it is second row, you write R2, third row, R3. First column C1, second column C2 and third column C3. Now, first row has the first element as B plus C. So, we write here B plus C. And it is actually preceded by minus 1 to the power I plus J. Now, since this is A11, that is the first element, 1 plus 1 makes it 2 and 2 is even. Even will never have minus sign. So I write here E and it will always have plus preceding it. Next what we have is the second element. The second element means A12, first row, second column element. 1 plus 2 is what? It is 3. And 3 is odd. I write here O and it will be negative. Next what we have is another element which is A13. First row, third column, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 is my even number and even number means E which is positive. It is very necessary to watch the previous videos, the theoretical approaches, how to solve it. Only then you will be able to understand the numericals. Already the concept of minus 1 to the power i plus j is explained in that. Right, b plus c we have written here. Now what is the next step? The next step is to eliminate the first column and the first row and obtain the sub-determinant. What sub-determinant is there? It is a 2 by 2 determinant this time and that 2 by 2 determinant is C plus A, B, C, A plus B. Next, next is what? You see here it is negative written, so write negative and you have the element as A, you write here A. Now again you need to get a sub-determinant and what is that sub-determinant? It is basically elimination of the second column and the first row. What is left? B, B, C, A plus B. So you write in the same manner which you get B, B, C, A plus B and keep checking whether you are copying the same elements. Do not get confused with any other element. Next is what? Again it is plus and A so you write plus and A. Again, you have a determinant, sub-determinant, eliminate the third column and the first row. You have what? You have B, C plus A, C, C. So it is B, C plus A, C and C. Right? Now, what is left? Left is these three 2 by 2 ordered determinants. We follow the same trick we've been using. Cross multiplication. Cross multiplication in all the three sub-determinants and then solving it further to obtain the final result as 4abc. Let's get started. It is b plus c outside. Inside it is what? Inside it is multiplication which will be a bit complex because it is c plus a into a plus b. So we'll be using the expansion in the next step but 
for this time we are just writing these two brackets in the form of multiplication minus CB or you can write minus BC one and the same thing next is minus A you write minus A have some big brackets now what is B into A plus B just expand it here itself it is AB plus B square because you are cross multiplying so it becomes AB plus B square and then it is minus C into B minus CB or minus BC is one and the same thing I write minus BC next you move on to plus A again have some big brackets for solving purpose solve it B into C is BC then you have a minus of the formula and it is C into C plus A so C into C plus A I write here in the form of brackets and the next step will be expanding it now B plus C outside doesn't change inside it is what we have to see it now C into A which is what CA or AC so let's write AC it is always advisable to use alphabetical order write A first and then C what is C into B it is CB or BC so you write BC here and it is plus only so plus BC next what is A into A it is A square what is A into B it is AB so it is plus A square plus AB minus BC remains as it is then these things are all unlike terms AB B square BC is not the same so you just have to open the brackets now A into AB first then A into B square then A into BC we all know that this is a bit lengthy procedure in the next topic and the, the next videos we'll be seeing the properties therein we'll see the shortcuts to solve this but for now we have to expand this and that is what we have learned right so a into a b makes it what a into a b makes it a square b next it is minus and plus so let's open this bracket first and it becomes what it is minus and plus which is minus and a into b square is a b square and then we have minus minus which is plus so it is plus a b c we are done with this till here next next is what a into b c which is a b c plus a b c and now you have to follow two steps at the same time first is c into c which is c square so it is minus c square outside it is plus a so it is minus a c square last but not the least I have C into A which is AC outside you have A again so it is A square C minus remains as it is now see anything cancels till here if it cancels yes it will be of benefit to us otherwise we have to expand this also so A square B is not here these all are unlike terms we have to expand this and then we'll reach our final solution one last step so B into AC is given to me which is ABC then this B into BC again so it is B square C B into A square is A square B B into AB is AB square inserting B every time inside right this B into last minus BC is minus B square C Similarly, C should be inserted inside, then we'll have only cancellation and last we have is 4ABC. Let's see that. C into AC is AC square. So it is plus AC square. Let's write it more clearly, plus AC square. Next is C into BC, which is plus BC square. Next is what? C into A square plus A square C. Next. C into AB plus ABC next we have is C into minus BC minus BC square right so minus BC square this is all about the first bracket rest all elements get copied as it is quickly copy them minus A square B minus AB square plus ABC copied till three elements one two three copied next plus ABC plus ABC is 2 ABC so we can here only write it as plus 2 ABC so as to save some space plus 2 ABC right minus AC square minus A square C can be written here AC square and minus A square C now what is left just cancellation and addition of ABC terms ABC is here 
one ABC is here. Where is the next ABC? Let's see. It is two ABC and one more ABC. So four ABC is obtained, which was here. But what about the other elements? Are they cancelling? Let's see. This is B square C. This is minus B square C. They cancel each other. This is A square B. This is minus A square B. Again, they cancel each other. Right? This is AB square. This is minus AB square. These cancel each other. AC square minus AC square. These cancel each other. And next, we have A square C. And here is also A square C but with a negative sign. Last but not the least, this is BC square. This is minus BC square. So you see all the values are cancelled. And what we are left behind is 4ABC. And 4ABC was what we needed to prove. So in this video, we saw a lengthy but a simple problem based on the topic of evaluation of determinants.